Kia ora team, Chris Vahi here. Today we're checking out the brand new public space, Te Awananga, that's open right at the front of Auckland's waterfront. So this space opened on the 2nd of July 2021 and it's considered the flagship public space within the $350 million revamp of Auckland's waterfront alongside other projects like ferry facilities, cycleways and upgrades to Key Street. The space has been described as forming a unique and innovative coastal connection between Whenua, Moana and Tangata, so the connection between the land, sea and people. The design was inspired by the rocky edges of sandstone headlands along the Waitamata. The space itself is an elevated tidal shelf over the water and features space for people like seating but also space for nature with features like the grove of putakawa trees and decks for mussels. Walking around I really liked the portals to look into the water, particularly how they contrasted the sky's reflection on the water when looking down. The heritage elements like the original fencing and war memorial also give it that sense of heritage which is nice for a public space. From a commercial real estate perspective, I'm always contemplating whether these investments will impact the value of the surrounding properties. I was thinking the Western Kiosk building would be uniquely placed to capitalise with a boutique hole-in-the-wall cafe or ice creamery, but unfortunately that site's already earmarked for a marine education hub, so maybe not. So look, hopefully you enjoyed this quick update on the Te Wananga public space. If one of your mates was involved in this project, then please tag them in the comments so we can celebrate their work, or otherwise just go ahead and smash that like button. Cheers, bye!